All right, all right, all right. Well, I took the Dragon Hammer out last night, ironically, for a night uh, run. I did film it, but even with the amount of light that this thing is producing, it's really when you actually get outside in the dark, it's not enough light. But w what I noticed is and what I finally am, am, am sorting out is that when I got this Dragon Hammer, they had set it up for a proper feel like a like a fixed rear axle car, solid rear axle car. So uh, um, fixed rear axle by by which I mean uh, no differential in the rear, which is kind of what you n n sometimes have with a solid fixed axle car. So it's very um, squirrely. Um, it doesn't accelerate in a straight line so happily if you've got lighter diff oil in the front and heavier diff oil in the back so i'm rectifying that now and i just thought it'd be interesting for those of you who haven't seen in the back of a dragon hammer vaults or the back of the dragon hammer when it's got this beautiful kind of uh machined aluminium rear end um third member is massively thick it's really nice and this is how it comes out. The best thing to do is to loosen these top four screws and let it flop down like, like so. And then you just hold your hand underneath. And then with a wooden hammer, just boom, boom. And it literally just drops into your hand. Otherwise, you're going you're gonna to try and stick stuff in to prise it apart. And it's just let gravity do the work, basically, with a bit of a knock from a from a hammer and that's how it comes out. So I'm gonna clean all of this up. I'm gonna put different uh, differential uh, oil in the diff and, uh, and put it back on. And hopefully that will sort out the last bit of handling and then that'll be the car fully tuned. Peace.